Flying in the US has quite a lot of differences to flying back in the UK. One of the biggest differences is how air traffic services work on each side of the pond. This week I'm taking a flight across Texas in the Cirrus to show one of my favourite things about flying in the States here on Fly with Noel Phillips. We are back at Ardmore, Oklahoma in southern Oklahoma. It's quite nice up here, beautiful little airport, amazing place to visit. You should come and visit if you're in this part of the world. It's a proper nice little cafe they've got going on here as well. But anyway, it's time to get back on board the Cirrus because we're taking another flight today out of Ardmore, back south into Texas. <laughs> Ardmore ground, good afternoon. Cirrus 2706 Echo at parking. Information hotel request VFR flight following to Waco at 4,500 feet. Atlanta taxi, please. Over 2706 Echo Armor ground. You can expect your flight following forward center. Runway 17 taxi via Alpha, Alpha 1. Runway 17 via Alpha, Alpha 1, and we'll get a flight following for, um, for West Center. Cirrus 6 Echo, thank you. And remember 06 Echo, you can contact tower frequency, hold them short. We'll go with the tower at 118.5, zero, zero, six, okay, we're on holding short. All right, so we're at Ardmore, Oklahoma, and we're heading back into Texas now. I'm going to take a flight to a place called Waco, which is about an hour south of here. It's sort of halfway between here and Houston. This flight's going to take us right, though, through Dallas, um, Fort Worth airspace. Flight following here is pretty cool, um, and we're going to see what it can do today as we head south, because... We effectively planned a route right through Fort Worth's controlled airspace um, at 4,500 feet um, north to south. I'm thinking they're going to just vector us around a little bit, so we'll see what happens when we get down there. Um, but we can't get flight following on the ground here. At Ardmore, we have to get it once we're airborne from Fort Worth Centre, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take off, get flight following, and get followed all the way down to um, Waco, Texas. Service 06 Echo, clear of the Delta. Number 06 Echo, frequency change approved, so fly. Frequency change approved, 06 Echo, thanks for having us. Fort Worth Center, Cirrus 2706 Echo, 4500. Right, give me a call sign, and uh, what are you looking for? At Cirrus 2706 Echo, we are out of Ardmore, routing to Waco, Texas, requesting flight following at 4500 VFR. Uh, 06 Echo, it's squawk 2274 and say type that aircraft and you go into Alpha Charlie Tango. Uh, if I'm Alpha Charlie Tango, squawk 2274, Cirrus SR20. And 06 Echo, thank you. I'll give it a 3002. 3002, Cirrus, Cirrus 06 Echo. There we go. We have the flight following. It was 06 Echo, rate of contact about 15 miles south of the Armour Airport, I'll take it 4,500. Rate of contact 06 Echo. So he's going to presumably hand us across to regional approach as we get closer to Fort Worth, which is the approach frequency of the whole Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, so he should probably hand us across to regional approach. They're going to probably vector us, vector us a little bit because the route we're taking effectively takes, the, so the runways at Dallas Fort Worth are north to south. They're landing from the north today and we are going to be flying literally par parallel to the runway southbound. So effectively through the final approach and straight past the runways at Fort Worth. I don't think they're going to be happy with us doing that. I'm guessing they're going to want to vector us a little bit to get us around that. We'll see what happens. Uh, my plan is uh, presuming that they want to, um, they don't want us through the Bravo, then we can just de deviate to the west slightly. We can go around um, to the west of Dallas over towards, uh, what, Decatur? A flight following them basically means that we are, um, it's similar in the UK, we have something called basic service and um, traffic service where we speak to air traffic control. It's generally provided in the UK by um, approach controllers or by London control. Um, and effectively, they will have you on radar and a basic service effectively is you just talking to them and asking them for advice where necessary. They'll give you 
I don't know, there's parachute zones active or something like that, or there's some airspace that's active, um, or there might get you the weather if you'll need the weather for somewhere further away that you can't get it for, something like that. That's what a basic service is, just a bit of a helpful, helpful thing that they do. Traffic service, same but then enhanced because then they have you on radar and they, they tell you what um, the other traffic is in the area, so you'll be told, ah, there's traffic in your one o'clock, traffic in your four o'clock, whatever. Um, and it's, it's pretty good, but you don't you don't always get that. That's very only if they've got the availability and the capacity to be able to fit you in and help you with that. Eight minutes radar. Good afternoon, Gulf Bravo November. Oscar Mike requesting a traffic service. Gulf Bravo November. Oscar Mike, East Midlands radar. There's no uh, uh, Lars this afternoon. I'm afraid due to uh, controller uh, sickness. Uh, so it's a basic service. Flash your details. Here, flight following is like a traffic service. However. You know, they tell you they tell you where everywhere is, they tell you where everyone is, um, they tell you any traffic that's in the area, things like that. They'll give you advice and stuff about what you know, clearing you away from parachute drop zones, things like that. Brilliant. The extra thing they do usually is to coordinate you with um, airspace clearances and things like that. So if you're on a traffic service back in the UK, you've still got to stay clear of airspace unless you request a separate clearance from um, East Midlands um, approach, for example, or Birmingham approach, something like that. Here, they basically coordinate and hand you off. Um, and that's the other thing you don't get in the UK. In the UK, they don't hand you off. It's basically, you're at the edge of my zone now, so recall, en route, bye-bye, see ya. Um, and that's pretty much it. Whereas here, they'll hand you over. So in a minute, they're going to tell me who the next frequency is I need to talk to. Who I presume will be regional approach. Um, and when we speak to regional approach, hopefully they might give us a clearance through this Bravo. If not, we'll try and go around it. But I have confidence. I have confidence in the really friendly controllers in Dallas, and hopefully they might be able to give us a clearance through. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? What do they have? In the Pacheco, got a regional approach one one eight point one. 18106 Echo, thank you. There we go, that's regional approach. 18 one. Port of Tower, have a good one. Sir, three, take off. Regional approach, Cirrus 2706 Echo, 4500. 2706 Echo approach, what's your destination and on course heading? Our destination is Waco Alpha Charlie Tango, and on course heading is 181 Cirrus Series 6 Echo. Roger. Cactus 2, turn left heading 250. Uh, left 250, Cactus 2. 006 Echo, you can turn left on course to Waco, clear to Bravo 4500. Left on course to Waco, clear to the Bravo 4500, 06 Echo. Now 124.1. There we go, so now we've been cleared through the uh, Bravo airspace. Uh, We're going to go straight uh, over Alliance Fort Worth uh, Airport uh, in a few uh, minutes. But effectively, they've taken us out towards the east, um, and then we're heading directly towards Waco now. 284, views to north of your position, southeast bound, VFR descending out of 4,300. As I headed to the west of Fort Worth, I started to pick up an ELT transmission or an emergency transponder transmission on the guard frequency of 1215. Captain 2, thanks for clearing for the visual approach 18, and you can contact Navy Tower now. Y'all have a good one. Social Tower, code visual, Cactus 2, see you. Sirius, Sirius, just for your information, we're picking up an ELT L T transmission on guard at the minute. Sirius, thank you. That's an ELT transmission, Cirrus 2706 Echo, 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 we're now inside the Bravo. But the important thing is he cleared us into the Bravo and we repeated that Bravo clearance back to him, so we've got a firm handshake there. Cirrus 06 Echo, head approach on 135.907, have a good one. On 35970006 Echo, thanks for help. Regional approach Cirrus 2706 Echo, 4500. 7 for 6, around the 285 heading weather, no dumps the visual. Yeah. Number 110 Golf Regional Approach, welcome. Number 22 Papa, turn right direct to Waco VR, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb di uh, direct to Waco VR, uh, 10,000, 22 Papa. Number 2706 Echo Regional Approach, welcome. There we go, right at the top of the Lions Airport. 
Hospitals 960, sorry. Big cargo hold that is actually, it's a FedEx hub, I think, down there. Do you remember when I had a lot of my stuff being sent over when we moved over here? We sent a lot of stuff by FedEx and it did end up at Alliance Airport for a bit. Number 22 Papa, traffic 11 o'clock, 3 miles westbound, up to indicate 6,600. I'll tell you what, Fort Worth has a lot of airports. We've got Fort Worth speaks on the nose, we've just gone past Fort Worth Airport. There's Naval, a a Naval Aero Station, Fort Worth, over there. We've just flown past Alliance Fort Worth. <laughs> How many airports does Fort Worth have? And then there's, of course, Dallas Fort Worth as well, which is between Dallas and Fort Worth, but wow. For five it's flights like this that the Cirrus is made for, just following that green line. Autopilot's on, it's like the Tesla of the skies. With the help of a bit of flight following, they let us get through the Bravo airspace, get over all these airports, straight through Fort Worth. Heading out to Waco, we're doing 100 and, uh, 140 knots ground speed at the minute, 150 knots airspeed. We've got a bit of a headwind at the minute. 140 knots ground speed, works out to about 150 mile an hour at the minute, so we're tanking down south. Tootling along at four and a half thousand feet, and actually the weather's not as bad as I expected it would be. We're not too bad here. We're almost out of this Bravo airspace, actually. Sierra zero six Echo, contact Waco approach one two seven point six five. Good day. Twenty seven six five zero six Echo. Thank you. Waco approach Sierra two seven zero six Echo. We're currently twenty miles to the north with information Tango inbound. Full stop. North 2706 Echo Waco Approach Waco Altimeter 2997. 29906 Echo. Okay. Oh, that's going a bit bright now. Pop me. A few bits on. A bit flying eyes. There we go. Look nice and cool. 10% off. Link in the description. These things are amazing. Look. Oh, so comfy. They do that as well. So bendy and flexible. Yeah, they're really high quality as well. So comfortable. Um, but yeah, must be flying nice. Get some cash off in the link if you click on the link down in the description. I think you get like 10% off or something. Reserve 6 Echo, were you able to get Tango? Hey, fair, we've got information to Tango 06, okay. Reserve 6 Echo, Roger. Contact approach 126.12. Have a great day, sir. 126.12, 06, okay, thank you. Approach Sirius 2706 Echo, 4500. Sirius 27. Correction, Sirius 2706, Echo, Wake Up, Roach Roger. Oh, there it is. I can't remember why it's Arriving into Waco was really straightforward. They've got a southerly runway here, so I was pretty much on a long final for the runway as soon as I entered their airspace. Alpha 3 to parking field Alpha remain in strict to give way to the Bonanza outbound from the um, DFPO. Left on Alpha 3 remain on the frequency series 6, okay. And yes, that was air traffic control getting my call sign wrong because 4 1 Lima was actually the Bonanza I was supposed to be giving way to. But never mind, here we were on the ground in Waco, Texas. Well, welcome to Waco, Texas. Home of the cult of Noel Phillips. Not been here before. I've driven through Waco before. We've never actually been to the airport here, so it's fun. First time here. Okay, Texas area. That's where we need to be. Let's swing in here. Waco Airport is actually quite big, but it does only have one commercial air route. It's served three times a day by American Eagle on the flight to Dallas Fort Worth, which is about a 45-minute flight. Texas. Nice little airport. It's actually a big airport, big commercial airport here, but this is the FBO here. 
and they've got Starbucks, free Starbucks. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. It's been great for flying down from Oklahoma back to Texas. Join me next week, plus next time, or soon for me, but next week for you, um, I'll be heading back down to Hooks on more aviation adventures. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Well, thank you very much for watching and in the meantime, see you next time. Back in the skies.